Hi, my name is Henning and I'm going to show you today how you can use a Lumia 950 XL device to develop and create Windows 10 applications and deploy it to the same device. Uh, we're going to use utilize VPN and remote desktop to achieve what we need. And as you can see, I'm in the continuum experience. I got my phone hooked up to the display dock and I got a keyboard and I got a mouse and this is how it looks. I got a a cool background which will inspire me hopefully in the future of course we have the start menu we have the action center on the right side and we have a status bar on top so before we can do anything let's go into our settings and we have to enable developer mode so we have to go into update and security tab hit for developers and enable developer mode this will allow us to deploy the package that we're going to build later on to our device and um, the way we're going to use uh, do that is through the device portal. So if you are familiar with Windows 10 IoT, this device portal is the same you use uh, for that as well. All right, let's get to it. So you can see I'm I'm actually connected in the top left here. I'm using my 4G connection, 4G plus, because I wanted to show a real life scenario where if if you don't have Wi-Fi, like if 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 you're out traveling or the Wi-Fi is poor and the mobile connection is much better or you have a, like, a great data plan, you can use your 4G. So you can be anywhere in the world and you can, and you can use your phone to develop any kind of Windows 10 application for HoloLens, Xbox, when that comes, and yeah, Windows 10 PC or laptop or tablet, and of course also your phone. So that's what I'm going to show today. So we develop, uh, we've enabled developer mode. Uh, now, uh, to be able to deploy from our remote desktop computer to our phone, we need a VPN connection. So you have to set up that before, and I'm not going to show you how you do that. I've already set up and connected to my VPN. I've set it up on my router so that my phone and my desktop computer, wherever in the world it might be, we're still at, in the same network. It counts as the same network. That's important. So VPN is set up. Our developer mode is set up. Let's go into uh, remote desktop preview app, which is now a Windows 10 universal app, and connect to our computer. In case you don't have one, you can provision it in the cloud. You can use something like Azure to create a Visual Studio uh, virtual machine, which can run Visual Studio, which you can start and stop whenever you like if you want to uh, start developing. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to show you that in another video, how we can do that. But for, for this video, I'm going to connect to my local computer, which is a Windows, T, Windows 10 PC. So I hit connect. It connects. Logs on. And in a few short moments, we will have the desktop experience. So this is a full desktop actually running on my Surface Pro 4. So the first thing you're going to do is open up Visual Studio. I happen to have it installed. If you don't have Visual Studio installed, you can download the Community Edition. It's free. It's like professional. So let's create a new project, a blank universal Windows app. Let's call it uh, Hello Lumia 950 Excel. So you're just going to create a new project. I create a simple view, a text block at most. Uh, that just uh, says hello Lumia 950. Let's do that. Let's in our main page create a new text block with text attribute of hello Lumia 950XL. So you're going to show that. See in the upper top left corner there of the page. It's displaying. But we want it to be uh, horizontally aligned on the center, and we also want it to oops, want it to be vertically centered. Okay, so now we have it centered, but it's kind of small text. So let's see, increase the font size to 32, 42, not 32, 36. So hello Lumen 950XL, that's it, that's our app. I don't need to show anything more, you just need to 
I'm just going to show how we can deploy it. So first, let's uh, run it locally on this uh, desktop computer to see if it actually builds and displays correctly. And it does. Hello, Lumia 950 XL. You can you can you know resize it and all. Looks good. So now we have the app ready. So we want to build this app for a phone. What we could do is remote deploy and debug because we should do the allows that. You use that normally when you deploy to a tablet or a Windows 10 IoT device, but that's not currently supported for Windows 10 Mobile. So we have to create a, an actual package and then deploy it using the device portal. So I right click my project in the Solution Explorer. I go to store, create app package, and then I select, no, I don't want to upload to the Windows Store. I just want it to be created locally. And then let's output collection to uh, output location. Let's say that's uh, apps. And then we, I don't need an x86 or so x64. I just need the ARM build because that's my what my phone runs. I hit create, it will create a debug package and created. So if I click, <clears throat> so here we have our AppX bundle file, which we're gonna upload using the device portal. Now, uh, we need the IP address to access the device portal. We need the IP address of the phone and the IP address that it has on the VPN. So we minimize remote desktop, go back to the settings app and into our developer section again. <clears throat> As you can see under device portal, it actually shows us the IP we should, the actually URL we should use to connect to device portal. And I can't copy that. I'm gonna select unpair all devices because I want to show you how device portal works, the security behind it. Okay, so remember 192, 168.10.2. That's for my phone. So you type 192 and 68.10.2. Click OK. It's an unsecure, like it's HTTPS, but the certificate is self signed. So we just click continue. This is Norwegian, by the way, so don't worry about that. Okay, so the first thing we need to set up access. So we need to pair this computer to the phone using a six character pin. So what we're gonna do is minimize the remote desktop app, go into under device discovery in our settings app and click on pair. Now this is gonna give now this is gonna give us a code which we have to type in. I can't copy that. So I'm just typing it down on notepad on my other machine here. So you know, remember that, type it down, go back into remote desktop and type the pin code. And then check, remember my computer. If I type that correctly, we should get to the landing page. And here it is. So if you're familiar with Windows 10 IoT, this is the same device portal. You have your apps, which you can see, installed apps, running apps, and then deploy apps. Processes, you can see the whole process tree. Performance, you get like CPU, utilization, network, disk, uh, memory, GPU, devices. Just it's the same as device manager in Windows, a lightweight version, and networking shows you all network related. But the one we're interested in this part is the apps section. You can see your installed apps, you can see your running apps, and then you can install apps so so click on browse and find your appx bundle file select that and then hit deploy or go which will then upload that file to our device 100%. now it's installing f the app for us and in a couple of seconds it will be installed done right so now we install the app we just created now we can re uh, minimize our our uh, remote desktop and open up our start menu 
and you can see you click on all apps and you can see it. there is our hello Lumio 950 Excel application hit run and it starts hello Lumio 950 Excel it's the same app we just created and ran on our demo desktop computer it's now running on our phone which we deployed using our phone develop using our phone so it's a little magic with the remote desktop and VPN but it's pretty cool now imagine if the phone is all you got but now you can you know spin up some uh, virtual machines for using Visual, Visual Studio uh, it's pretty cool I love this it's more like a mind-blowing thing like now I can actually develop and deploy using nothing other than my phone at hand but I need access to some other things so that's it I hope you enjoy the video